Yes, welcome back to the conversation coming to you from TV 360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name still remains Nes Nekujimi, and I still have with me in the studio Richard Adeyinka Emmanuel, CEO, Data Home Research Limited, a public affairs analyst. Thank yes, uh, Richie, on this circumstance uh, or in this circumstance of the program, we want to look at um, the um, unpass that uh, ensued when the Super Eagles traveled to Libya for the return leg of the 2025 African Cup of Nations uh, qualifiers. Fire. And uh, for me, I was sad mm. seeing players arrive at the airport. They were not allowed to leave, to go and rest, to go and freshen up. We saw the so many you know, stories, but in all, we saw players sleeping on the couches um, at the airport, some sleeping on their no food, luggages, no, no food. Um, no water. Yes, so, yes. and um, at the end of the day, the Nigerian national team had to return back to the country because Good I was watching, I was following the events. I saw the minister, the minister for foreign affairs, mm. said that uh, they have intervened. They are discussing with the Nigerian uh, um, uh, representative there yeah. because we, uh, one thing we must let our viewers know is that as we speak. Libya as a country has a polarized government. They don't have and a central... So it's a country in chaos. Since the death of a uh, former leader, Muammar Gaddafi, Libya has not been the same. At all. So when people vent their anger, I want to tell them that these people don't have... They don't have a sense of responsibility. Anger at who? Uh, Super ego or to uh, Libya? So if that these people they are, they are talking about, they have, they have, a, they have a, a, disturb, a dysfunctional society. That is why, see, sometimes Nigeria, the way, the way we do things, even at international level, I just, I just wonder. We know the situation in Libya. For me... It's not about us. It's a, it, it's a car for Ghana. That is what I'm saying. Now. That for me, uh, even the the moment that fixture was made, yes, I would have just said, we will not honor this. No. We we'll give them three points. No, See, you can't do that. Now we have seen it. Uh, yes. Those guys at a point, they were f afraid that they could be, anything can happen to them. Richard. Because it was premeditated. Richard, I will tell you for free. If you have signed, it's just like, for example, a lot of our poli just hold on a minute. Our politicians contest an election, mm. and when they lose, they want the old place to burn. Yes. Once you have entered into a pact, you must honor that. You must honor. Yeah. We are playing there for the match to take place in Libya. CAF had sanctioned that that place was safe to play because we have seen situations whereby if the if the environment is unsafe. CAF would take the match from that country to another neutral Oh, it guy. wasn't safe with the polarization. No, no, that part of the country where it was safe, it was only that the Libyan authorities were playing games with human lives. Premeditated. Which is unacceptable. Premeditated. Yes, yes. When they came to Nigeria, yes. they started making troubles. They told NFF they will be landing in. The arrangement was to land in Uyo. Yes, but they went and landed they, in Port Harcourt. And then, then they were negotiating. For boss to take them to Uyo. Uyo. No, you are a visitor of you another listen country. To the, you to listen your to your host. Whatever. Your that host is. will make arrangement for you. Yes, I agree. And Nigeria, we are not known to treat our uh, our, our guests, guests in a shabby in a shab manner. No, he's an African. That is not the Nigerian uh, hospitality culture. Nigerians will blame their super egos against. A visiting, a, a visiting team. Visitor. Yes, absolutely. Agree. Nigerians will boo their team and hail the, the opposing the, the, team. The visitors, yes. So we are not hostile. At we are all. never we are hostile. We are not. We don't, our, not in, our, it's not in at our all. We are very civilized. But in way and Libya is known to to have that is what they do. They enjoy it. They've done it with a uh, uh, Richard, you, you know why? If you if you bring in psychologists they will tell you that that behavior of theirs cannot be divorced from the trauma <laughs> they've gone through yes from the, the from the wars the, the conflict every, yeah. administration. so you cannot divorce I mean, it 
born no matter what. See, those guys, the moment they came, they came for trouble. They knew what they would be doing. Because if, 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 if you are not preparing for trouble, why did you make a different arrangement with your host and then turn back? And we know our country. The road may not be safe. The no, NFL provide all the security to even pass to, any road. Yes, but we are saying that Azumi, since they did it on their own, their own plan, yes. the NFF had made arrangements, perfect, suitable for them, that will ensure their safety and ensure that they land safely and then they can play the match. But what they did, they had that intention to make trouble. Ab initial. Absolutely. That is why it all the have yes. see. And then our guys, they were to land in Benghazi at close to landing. Yeah. They diverted it again. Play, yeah. So now, assuming the plane needed to fall. Well. Hmm. So the, what the, happened? The risk to human life. Because of football, I was listening to uh, an interview done by uh, uh, Chief M MQ Abiola. About Abiola babes playing in, in uh, Zambia. Zambia. Yes. And now, had to, and now he had to and now he had to drive, drive the bus. And now they were with Leo by Roba and all and that. And he had to pay yes. his way for so, them to pass. Calf, it is high time Calf even sat down and begin to look at this. Doing business within Africa is really not healthy as we would have like from UK to France, from France to Belgium to within Europe, how they do business, how to conduct business. And you can't, you can't compare the environment movement. there. You, no, you can't. Why are we not here now? Very soon we will be arguing that we are also, we have the same, we are created equality. Richard, this uh, one fact we cannot <sighs> run away from is that globally mm -hmm. it has been acknowledged that conflicts <gasps> and climate change has severely affected the Lakeshad uh, River Basin area and uh, that is Africa. affecting the way we reason if you i i, I just i just told you as a matter of somebody fact, who has been traumatized for so long as a matter of fact i also came across a study done at uh, university of copenhagen that excessive exposure of the egg to the sun leads to cognitive impairment and if that is the case for us you you say that why is it difficult for nigerians to move within the uh, the african continent why is it difficult or the, for or Africans? Or, the, or even Africans generally to move around and even do business? Eh? How is it difficult for us to link train from here to, to Togo to, to, to even to, Tunisia, to Algeria? To Algeria? Yes. Why is it difficult for us so that we can we can move? We can do can business and prosperity. Easily. Prosperity. And and with the, yes. That is it. Absolutely. So, but in a situation whereby we, we, we are we are we are adopting primitive tactics in a game in qualifier and now in any case why would why would if considering what they were saying that nigerians that they, 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 treated they, they, them and libya and nigeria in football there is no way even if we dance libya the six points we say Oh man, away. We are not playing it. Take this point. No, no, Libya cannot qualify from that. No, group. no, Richard, for me, it's. Uh, so, let's even take football out of it. I think, like you have <laughs> rightly said, I think it is high time uh, CAF and FIFA put their searchlights on African air fees. Yes. How they receive their visitors. Moving when, from one point to the other is, is difficult. Being, uh, because we have had several reports. Where match a match that is supposed to take place in point A, the visiting country would have arranged for a flight to point A, only for them to about to land. They, they will now divert them to point B. Uh -uh. When they now get to point B, four is hours it, of the match, they will now tell them to that, come back. That I mean, is, is, is not fair. It's, it's not fair. fair. It's, it's not, not just fair. football. Football, football should, should be. be it's a game. It's, it's a, a game, game that people you love to watch. You win and lose. You so enjoy yourself. When you now adopt this shenanigans uh, because of for, for what? Because you want to qualify, uh, or you uh, think no, no, let us demoralize them so they won't be able to play. What is the intention of the Libyans? That is what I don't know. I'm happy that. CAF has set up a yes. committee to look into. They must punish Libya. No, they have to pay for our flights. They must pay. They must pay us. Uh, and, uh, where we are going to, uh, and where we are going to play, they must be responsible of for course. it. Uh, uh, and 
they should not play. What me I will even recommend? They should not play any quality because it shows that the country is not stable. You know, it's not suitable for uh, players to play there, and even any other country for that matter in Africa. Uh, so ban them from hosting any football, international football. No, game let us make. And let them. Make, we are making our demands. You know, we, uh, we have to uh, we because have to, uh, now to. look at where they where they get to. Who knows what they will do next? To other countries. Next, yes. they may take the if nothing is done now to no, punish what they have done. The old world, the old world saw it. They, so it, they yes, can't go, they can't the, escape this. Thank God for social media. The yes. world saw how could you treat international players like this? Is it war? Is it not football? And, we, uh, and the beauty of uh, it is that we are all members of the African Union. African Union. We are African brothers. So no, you can treat your brother like I, this. I don't think. See, it, it seems that the leaders are the ones united. Ah, but Africans themselves are not united. They don't see themselves maybe, as brothers. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll leave that for you. Know, how do you yes. How do you how do you treat your fellow brothers? If, if let us say we are brothers, how do you treat them this way? Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that has been our conversation on the Nigerian Libya saga. We we as Nigerians, as uh, members of the human community, we are very sad. We condemn that action by the Libyan authorities, and we commend the Nigerian government for bringing back the Nigerian team to, Niger to, to the country. We call on CAF to take necessary action to remedy the situation. Uh, if the Libyan authorities are found uh, culpable for undermining the, 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 life, the life of these uh, players, I think they must be made to face the full route of the law. Well, this is where we'll call it a, a, a day on this uh, episode of the conversation. Till we come your way again next time. Uh, Richard, thank you for coming. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Till we come your way again next time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Continue to watch the conversation. Bye-bye.